Bovine respiratory disease costs the cattle industry hundreds of millions of dollars each year, which is why producers are always looking for ways to stay ahead of this costly disease. Cattleman to Cattleman reporter Brad Bola shows us an innovative technology from Merck Animal Health that can make a real difference against BRD. Peter Armstrong has plenty to do to keep him busy. In addition to owning a veterinary clinic in Jacksboro, Texas, he also runs his own cattle business. So we're predominantly backgrounding operation, and so we buy cattle out of three local cell barns. We always background them for 60 days. Um, and then depending on time of year, they'll either go to a feedlot or we'll turn them out on either grass or wheat grazing for 60 to 90 days, depending on the cattle. Dr. Armstrong has seen firsthand how the hard work of a cattle producer can be quickly undone by an outbreak of bovine respiratory disease. This is especially true for a backgrounder, where the co-mingling of cattle from different sale barns can often increase the risk for BRD. One of the bigger problems that we see with bovine respiratory disease or BRD is varying levels of vaccination. You really don't know what these cattle have had, whether they've had a modified live, a killed product, whether that killed product was boosted, or whether they've had nothing at all. BRD remains a deadly problem for the industry, but Merck Animal Health has introduced an illuminating electronic ear tag that can help producers spot sick animals quicker. It's called Sense Hub Feedlot and the thumb size tag mounts on the inside of an animal's ear flap and monitors both body temperature and movement. Sense Hub Feedlot is this specialized tag that shoots an infrared light into the ear canal that detects temperature. It also detects movement at the individual level, but it also compares it to the group. And after a short period of time, 48 hours for, to get a baseline, it's monitoring that animal in relation to itself and the group 24 seven. So it's like having someone watch these animals 24-7. It sends the signal to uh, an algorithm, then through machine learning, this algorithm will start to recognize which animals are showing signs that there's something wrong with their, their health status, and they need to be addressed. By detecting sick cattle earlier, they can be assessed and treated sooner to help improve treatment outcomes. This technology is allowing us to pick up on animals that we otherwise wouldn't recognize until it's too late. And so that really is starting to give us an edge on getting the, uh, a good treatment in at the earliest time point of that disease process to give those cattle the best chance they have to, to fight it. I really got a good feel that this could be a really good way for me to mitigate some time, some expenses, and try to identify cattle that are sick sooner. And that was really the big thing for me. If I could identify those cattle that were sick you know, up to 48 hours quicker, then I could move, on, move those cattle forward um, and we didn't have to catch up from all the weight they lost from being sick. Dr. Armstrong gets an email every morning that lists the cattle that need to be assessed. The SenseHub feedlot ear tag also has a flashing LED light, which helps identify animals that need to be sorted off for treatment. There's a green light that blinks in their ear that indicates that those cattle are sick. Those calves that will indicate, especially early on in a group of calves, are not cattle that I would ever pull that look sick. Um, they are typically the first up to the feed bunk. It's kind of weird, the first calf running up has got a blinking light and you pull them and they have 106 temperature. So they still feel really good to eat, but they're just starting the earliest part of that viremia and, and, and are getting sick. And so we're able to identify those cattle, let them finish eating, because that's a very common thing, right? See a calf, pull it out of the pen. Well, now he's missed breakfast that morning. And so if we're able to pull that calf out after that fact, then a lot of times that's got a big benefit for us. Even with feedlot in the name, Sense Hub can have a positive impact on a cow-calf operation that retains calves, or, as Dr. Armstrong has proven, a backgrounding or stocker operation. Dr. Armstrong is also excited to share his story with other cattle producers he works with at the clinic. If I'm able to go and tell a client, hey, this is what I've done in this operation, and this is how it's done for me, um, then I think I can give that advice a lot stronger. Um, and I definitely see opportunities, you know, we have a lot of people in this part of the country that wean their cow-calf herds. Um, and so we end up, and I, I think there's some opportunities for these fall calvers, and that's always the time of year that we deal with BRD uh, to a greater extent, is if we could go in and then say, hey, we can identify these calves, pull these calves quicker um, so that we can get them back and get you guys your weaning weights that you need. I think that would be um, the biggest the biggest recommendation that we'll probably be looking at. The powerful antibiotic lineup from Merck Animal Health 
It is packed with products that effectively treat bovine respiratory disease. Merck also offers non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug options, both incorporated with an antibiotic and as standalone products. NSAIDs are non-steroidal anti-inflammatory, and we'll often use those in treatment of bovine respiratory disease to help bring down the fever that we see associated with those diseases that cause that, whether that's a viral process or a bacterial process. If we can get early on in the process, we can institute ancillary treatments like the use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatories to help minimize that inflammation, make the animals feel better, and also reduce the amount of lung damage that's occurring. It can help them get over this disease process and get back to food and water and a normal life earlier and easier than if we were trying to play catch up. Bovine respiratory disease will always be a top concern for the beef industry, which is why Merck Animal Health continues to develop new approaches to help cattle producers stay ahead of BRD and other challenges. Merck Animal Health is one of the companies that's constantly looking forward, always looking for new ways to help cattle producers, help the cattle industry move forward and, and do better. You know, the use of antibiotics, it's an important thing and it's something that we don't want to lose on the animal side or the human side. So antibiotic stewardship is very important. And that's why companies like Merck Animal Health are looking for ways that we can use our antibiotics to a better way, more appropriately, uh, less often, and to reduce the amount that's being used and have it more targeted so we, we still come out with a better outcome with those animals. And so the more we can figure out ways to help the producer recognize these animals and help the animals by getting the right treatment in early, it reduces the amount that we have to use, it, it improves our antibiotic stewardship, and it's better for everybody involved. Reporting from Texas, I'm Brad Bulla for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. To learn more about inner ear canal temperature and activity tracking and the difference it can make on your cattle operation, just visit the website sensehubfeedlot.com.